Okay, this video demonstrates how our standing orders works with the repeat cycles. So if we add a new order, let's just throw a customer on here, and we'll put an item on here. Oh, so I got stock. Okay, and we need some pricing. All right, so now we're going to set it as a standing order and set a repeat repeat cycle. You can choose daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or custom. And when you choose custom, you can choose one of those as well. So if I choose daily, I can see every X days. Weekly, I can say which day of the week. And monthly, which days I want to invoice on. And yearly, I can say every X number of years on a certain month. And once I've set that, and I'll just actually choose monthly. Then I'll pick today's date for my order. So that's 522 on here. We got that ready to go. So now we will invoice it on account and we won't print it. So now I've got a, a new standing order. So I'm going to say create use a filter I've got created called standing order. So I only see my standing orders. So sort that. I look down the bottom, there's my standing order, and you can see that it's got an invoice date of 622 because I, I uh, that's the next time that it's due and if I invoice it again I then click my invoice button to repeat it I can modify it before I do so if I need to put it on account print it again and now you'll see it's gone to 722 automatically so what you do is basically sort by the date and or even add another filter to say all orders due this week or you simply choose the ones you're going to invoice, and then you click the invoice button, and it advances it. So just to show the the ones I've got uh, at the top here, so this one, these two here, are set for 7:22 and 8:14. If I invoice these two, click OK, and I can print those invoices. And now you see it went to 9:14 and 8:22. So it keeps advancing one cycle. So in my case, monthly, but if it was um, weekly would advance weekly and so on. So it makes it really easy to work on standing orders and to re-invoice them. And of course, instead of, of uh, printing them, you, when you hit the uh, invoice button, you can also email them. So this can be used for either uh, items that you rent or services that you do on a, on a timely basis or a, you know X number of days or months or year or whatever. And that's how our standing order system works.